The case of Richard Church has received an incredible amount of publicity. It's been the subject of daytime talk shows like Phil Donahue and Geraldo Rivera. Several states have even put up wanted posters of Church as billboards. In the times we profiled Richard Church, we got more than 700 calls from people who said they'd seen him. Even that couldn't catch Richard Church. That's why he's on our list of toughest cases. But police haven't stopped looking for him, and neither have we. Woodstock, Illinois, a small town torn by a single crime that has shattered the quiet forever. My family lives with a big loss. My parents have both died. We live with a sense of fear because the man who killed them is still out there. This is a very small community, and it's, it, it, everybody is very much like family. I guess everybody's question is why he really did uh, what he did. Every day there are people that call the office, and what's on their mind is, did you ever catch that guy that killed that, them two people, Richard Church? They don't forget his name. Richard Church, a name Colleen Ritter remembered from happier times. She grew up with Church. And by high school, they had become sweethearts. In the fall of 1987, Church began his freshman year at Northern Illinois University, while Colleen stayed in Woodstock to finish high school. Yeah, two for Rambo, three. Church came home on weekends just to see Colleen. They looked like the perfect couple, but things were starting to change. Well, I was thinking after prom, maybe we'd go down to Miami, uh, get married, maybe go to the Bahamas for the honeymoon. <laughs> what a joker. Yeah, great. <laughs> as long as you get her home by two. In May, Church came home from school to take Colleen to her junior prom. Finally. <laughs> Night, Dad. Night, Dad. And although he still dreamed of marriage, Colleen says they were growing apart. Enjoy your mouth. So you're going to come see me at school? Um, I don't think that we should see each other anymore. What are you talking about? You're going to college. I want to enjoy my last year in high school. I want to see other people. Colleen, I love you. Rick, that's my decision. Okay, fine. Can you live with your decision then? See you around. Church was shattered. He had just watched his parents struggle through a divorce, and now Colleen was pushing him away. On August 19th, he called her for the last time. Uh, I'm doing okay. Um, Rick? Yeah. I've got to go. Uh, all right. I'll talk to you later then. Mm hmm Okay. Bye. Bye. doing okay how's the movie fine okay sweetheart good night good night and shortly before dawn police say church walked to colleen ritter's home Church bludgeoned Colleen's parents, stabbed her 12-year-old brother, and then chased Colleen out of the house. In the middle of the street, police say Church stabbed Colleen 23 times. A neighbor frightened Church away just in time to save Colleen's life. Then Richard Church left town. Church went directly to Venice Beach, California. He was staying here at the Calmar Hotel, just two blocks from the ocean. Registered under the alias, Randy Hunt. Church stayed the night at the hotel, but it was expensive. So he parked the truck in these garages and slept there for a week. 10 days after the murders, police found the truck in West Hollywood. Their next lead came when Church cashed $300 worth of savings bonds at a bank just a few miles from Venice Beach. That's where the trail turned cold. 
Richard Church had disappeared. Church had no prior criminal record, no fingerprints on file. Police say with a slight change of appearance, he can easily move around undetected. Another reason he's one of our toughest cases. Here's a 1987 home video of Church at a cousin's birthday party. The tape is three and a half years old. Police say he may have now changed his looks. He may have grown a beard, dyed his hair, and let it grow longer. Church used to comb his hair forward to hide a mole above his left eye. His eyebrows grow together, so he used to shave them. And he has a scar on the bridge of his nose. Police say he has facial tics. He constantly twitches his nose and blinks frequently. Church is described as shy and reserved, but he can't stand cigarette smoke and lets people know it. He loves to rent movies, especially action films. Church could be using the name Ronnie Quinlan or Ricky Cherney, or another alias using his real initials, RC. Police say Church could be anywhere in the U.S. Maybe you can provide the one clue they need to bring him out of hiding. If you've seen Richard Church, call our hotline at 1-800-CRIME-90. Colleen Ritter's friends and neighbors stood by her through her recovery. And tonight, their entire town hopes something you know can help bring Church to stand trial. Stay with us. What are you doing? You should have swum the car, lady. No, please.